Hi YouTube, I thought I would go through and make a quick video about the uh, new Falcon Wild Peak AT3s we got on my wife's 2019 Chevy Tahoe. Uh, they're size 275, 65, 18. We have a lot of experience with tires and we thought this would be a good opportunity to start telling people so that they can make good decisions. So as you can tell in the Pacific Northwest, um, we get snow and today it looks like we got about seven inches, which is fantastic. Um, later on, I'll also be reviewing the iPike RW11 tires that I've had on my Tundra for four years. Um, absolutely ridiculously phenomenal tires, and I'll get into that later. I've also got a set of Goodyear Duratracs I've had for four years, and I'm happy to review those as well. But for right now, let's look at these Falcon Wild Peaks. Um, I've got a few things to say about them so far. Um, they've been fantastic. We got a chance to try them in the snow today, but let's just start with like the tread pattern. Um, as you can see in the snow, they leave a pretty cool tread pattern. Um, they're absolutely fantastic looking tires and they have a really aggressive sidewall. They have excellent tread depth and fit this 2019 Tahoe really well. They seem to be the right size for the job. Um, they fill out the wheel well just a little bit more than the factory tires did. The tread pattern, while it looks pretty aggressive, is actually a pretty quiet tire. Um, we haven't had any additional road noise from the tires. They uh, ride down the road uh, pretty quietly. We've had them up to about 80 yesterday, and again, no loud noises, no obnoxious tire whine, um, just great tires that seem to be pretty quiet and haven't added any additional pain in the butts for us. Um, along with that, the ride is fantastic. We've had um, a little bit firmer ride from these than we did the factory um, tires. I'm not sure what those were, but they were essentially um, street tires designed to give ridiculously good gas mileage. And of course in this Tahoe, we do get ridiculously good gas mileage. Um, this has changed that a little bit. While the ride is absolutely fantastic and maybe firms this up just a hair, say 10% firmer than from the factory. Um, I find it better controlled and it rides a lot more consistent than it did with the rubbery bouncy tires. So these tires seem to be pretty fantastic in terms of ride and noise. Unfortunately, the gas mileage we lost a little bit. And of course you would expect that from a narrower section width um, factory tire that's designed to look great on paper. They spun in the, in the rain and wet and really didn't, offer a lot except for ridiculously good gas mileage. These, um, we've lost two miles per gallon on our normal two hour drive. We normally get 21 miles to the gallon in this big beast. And our drive um, yesterday, our two hour drive, ended up getting 19 miles to the gallon. So pretty fantastic um, still, but definitely did lose a couple of MPG, which sucks. But with that being said, um, they're better in every single way besides that. Traction. Traction has been fantastic. My wife just drove um, through about an hour and a half worth of driving. And you can see where she was driving through. That's actually a pretty steep hill we live on. And she drove up in two-wheel drive without any slippage at all. They seem to have done a really good job keeping her on the road. She said she didn't experience any slippage and they were pretty pretty great um, she's a less enthusiastic tire person than I am but what I gathered from her is they're great she loves them they do the trick and of course they look fantastic which is what she loves the very most X factor on these is um, they're pretty damn good looking tires um, they look tough they've got a great outside sidewall. My wife looks tough looking tires. These certainly meet that requirement of hers. And uh, of course they ride great and stop great and get traction great, which is all a bonus to her. 
Whereas to me, that's a main feature. So price, pretty inexpensive. These were good tires. They didn't cost that much. We got them at discount. Great tires, great price. Um, not a whole lot that could go wrong. Um, they appear to be tough. They feel tough compared to the previous tires, but they definitely feel like they're just tougher tires all around. So pretty excited about them. Um, her car's warm. The window's clear. Let's jump in and go for a drive and see how they do with me behind the wheel. Okay, now we're in the driver's seat. I'll leave it in two-wheel drive, and we'll just see kind of how it goes up the hill here. Um, again, I have high expectations based on what my wife said, and hoping I'm not disappointed. So let's see how it goes. Kind of trying to pick the worst ruts here. I'm going for kind of the deepest snow in the steepest part of the hill and doesn't look like I'm getting much if any slip surprisingly. I'm going to stop on this speed bump and see what happens. All right, well, there we go. That stopped me. All right, so let's try auto four-wheel drive and see how that works. Yeah, no problem whatsoever. So two-wheel drive on a large speed bump in the snow, I guess it's not that great. <laughs> I'm not hearing a lot of slippage. I'm not feeling any slippage. I'm trying to get myself in the deep ruts here to see if the sidewalls can get me out and they seem to be just doing a fantastic job of that. I really can't, can't feel anything that makes me uncomfortable. Um, again, I'm trying to go through some of the deeper stuff to see what the limitations are. And as of right this minute, they just feel fantastic. So that's it for the drive. Um, I'll get on it a little bit and see what happens here. Yeah. So far, so good. Braking. Yep. Yep, I got dizzy. That's a good sign. <laughs> All right, so the drive, fantastic in the snow. Fantastic in the rain haven't seen sun yet since we've had them because we live in the Seattle area. All right. Nice. With these new Falcon Wild Peak AT3s um, in size 275, 65, 18 on this 2019 Chevy Tahoe LT. We, uh, we love just about everything about them. They fit the car well. You can see with that size, they fit the wheel wells just perfect. They have a great look. They ride fantastic. And overall, just a great tire. Low road noise, excellent traction. Ride is superior, I believe, to the factory tires, which is saying something. And the only downside so far has been some gas mileage woes of two miles per gallon, which is significant. So I'm not diminishing that. Two miles is significant, but overall, happy wife, happy life, and wife is happy. So we're all happy. Thanks everyone for watching and lots more videos to come. I'm just getting started and I rely on YouTube to make decisions all the time and it's my turn to give back and help others. Thanks, over and out.